Welcome back. Today we're going to revisit the HT Minnow. Uh, this is one of my patterns. Um, just a basic Dace Minnow look-alike. It has since gone to quite a different colors. Um, just representing that overall Minnow um, profile. This is uh, has gone through a lot of transitions from, from the original design. Originally, it was it was craft fur and bucktail and uh, goat, a little bit of everything. It's gone straight to, um, and I like this so much better than than the original. I think I get a lot more motion out of it. This is kind of uh, this 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 is straight pseudo hair. What I use right here, there we got it right there. Um, it's it's a synthetic. It, uh, I, I would say it's probably between a craft fur and marabou, more, more toward the craft fur motion that you get, but with a little bit more of the marabou uh, properties. So, with that being said, um, we're also trying to work on a few things for this back camera to get this view right here because there's a big transition from this to. The background that I have set there, you can see it's a grayish, this is actually black, but with all the lights hitting it, gray to a black, and it kind of blurs the the back view. Just know that we are working on this one. I'm, I'm going to try to get this. I may even go a green screen. Um, if one day you see a lime green on the front view here, um, just know that we're trying to work this. But I want to get the absolute best view or the most detail in this in this rear camera. Uh, just stick with me for a little while. It's going to be something I'm, I'm learning this as I go. So uh, there may be a few videos to where it's a little bit iffy. But in the long run, I plan on having every single video crystal clear with that back picture. Uh, any of you tech or movie guys out there want to throw me a couple hints, save me a little bit of time, it'd be much appreciated. But with the editing software and everything, I think the green screen is going to be the way to go. Anyhow. If I seem a little bit loopy on this one, I experimented with trying to paint this a matte black or flat black and it didn't do shit, so I'm huffing a bunch of paint fumes right now. So all of this in the uh, uh, attempt to get you guys the best view possible. So we're putting in the time here for sure. If you look over my shoulder there, we've got Miss Christy in the trout porn calendar, Miss October, very fitting. Um, for 2021 so get your guys order in go to trout porn and get your uh get your calendar for the upcoming year hopefully post covid and all that nonsense that we've been going through anyhow size 2 gamagatsu b10s in the vice gel spun 100 as always a little bit of matte black flat black paint and a pbr too and should be an interesting ht minnow here we go so to start on this one, like I was saying, it's the pseudo hair. We're going to go a yellow and olive today. So if you take a look at this stuff, we'll do this in the back view here. Take a look at this. It's just kind of like a really just matted down different, different uh, striations throughout. But as you pick this stuff out, Get a decent clump of this out here. And we'll come through this as I start on this. You're going to see we have all of this wavy material in the back and then this big clump right there. Take more than what you expect you're going to be working with. And just got a new comb in there, so this one's not really broke in all that well. I'm going to have to bust a couple of teeth out here before too long. But, or get a new comb. So what you wind up with is you have this clump, just like when we're working with the craft fur, you have this clump right here. And then you have shorter hairs to the back. So I'm going to grab that at about the quarter point and I'm just going to pull and then line that stuff up. It's a little bit more consistent in length than the craft fur is. Um, I still like the craft fur a lot. Man, this stuff's flying all over the place. I still like the craft fur a lot for a lot of the other applications that I use it in, 
whether it be the 390U, the white girl, whatever it may be. Um, but this one has, seen, has seemed to really replace everything that I've wanted on the HT Minnow. So it's almost a complete overhaul now that I've found this material. So we're going to take this about one and a quarter length of the overall hook. And those fumes are really starting to get to me here. So we're going to measure that out and then my yellow is going to be the bottom color. We're going to reverse tie this. Probably should have painted it outside. Three, four. And if I mess it up, I've got something to blame it on. That's why I'm going to look at it. There we go. So we're going to get a couple of wraps just on that right here. And then I'm going to bring this around, get a couple of wraps on the bare hook. Two, there we go, flip that. Now we're going to go with our olive on top. Get the olive. And then we're going to take the same amount that we used for the yellow. Try and find a nice even section there. Kind of cut those a little bit uneven in the previous flies. Set that off to the side, same thing. We're just gonna clean the excess out of this. There is a lot of junk that you'll pick out at the very um, ends of the, these fibers, but you clean them out and it's, it's pretty easy to work with the remainder of it. Same thing, we're just gonna pull that, work with just the tips, measure this out, we're going to go the same length as our yellow on the bottom. Slightly longer, if anything. I just want that olive to... I don't, I don't want yellow sticking out past my olive, I should say. So we'll just go ahead and cut that. Take that to the back. And the thing with this, it's not a compressible material but it's, it's a little more forgiving than the craft fur. The craft fur will give you a big bundle. This is kind of like a sticky material to where it will compress a little bit, um, but it's not like a hollow material to where it's gonna flare out on you. So there's not really the, the worry of this rolling side to side on you. So now we're just gonna take this and we're gonna peel this to the back. This is gonna be our tail section. You can see, let me let that go, you can see right there our olive is just slightly longer than the yellow. And then all I'm going to do is just reverse tie that and then I'm going to throw a quick knot in there and then advance this to the halfway point on our fly. Now what you can do with this as it's sitting once it gets wet gets wet it's all going to bleed into itself but you can just take your brush and comb this out and it's going to it's going to make that a lot cleaner i got a few fibers i need to get over on this side right there roll that around i don't get too picky about this back one because we're going to have a lot more we're going to have two more stacks that are going to cover up any imperfections that we have. The only thing that I'm really looking for is that profile and that taper going back. So we're set right there. We're at our halfway point. All we're going to do is repeat now. We're going to take our yellow, take the same amount, maybe a little bit more on this. Get that out and same thing. We're going to comb it get rid of all the junk out of there double this up I got a little bit short on that I'm probably gonna do that a second time probably gonna try and clean that up a little bit more and cut 
cut that off at an angle get that underneath and same thing we're going to reverse tie this again I just want this running into the last section of pseudo hair that we had tied now it doesn't really matter if you want to you can go ahead and take a couple of wraps over top of this just kind of mat that down a little bit but it's not going to make a big difference because all of this stuff's going to cover it up in the long run we're going to go back to our olive same amount roughly that we used with the yellow and just run that through the comb again we're going to double this up nothing really new on this step here we're just building the foundation we're building a body and a taper as we go forward three stacks of this pseudo hair is what we're going to use and then just a little bit of flash for the center and we're going to do that right after this step here so there we've got that i'm just going to shore this up a little bit more a couple of good clean wraps right through there and i'm going to bring this back around this is going to cover up our next section but it's not going so long that it's going to overtake our tail just working a nice taper through here there you can see I'll grab and brush this just a little bit on this side there you can see we're starting to get that nice profile and as this gets wet it it slicks down a lot more than what craft fur does it is a pain in the ass so all these individual fibers come up and get in your nose pretty good but this slicks down a lot more than what the craft fur does and this really helps when it comes time to building the head on this thing you're gonna have that really thick round head and then it's just gonna slick back as it gets wet and it's going to have almost a perfect minnow profile it really does to add to that we're going to take just a piece of lateral scale and if you want to go heavier on this this is just um, regular size lateral scale if you want to go heavier on this you can go with the full size um, and it's really going to add to that flash but i really think that this is more than sufficient right here so i'm going to take that back almost to my tail I'm going to tie this in, just get a couple of loose wraps, get over there, a couple of loose wraps, flip this on the opposite side, and then I'm going to capture this stuff, make sure that I'm running right down the center, and I'm going to go back over that reverse tied section, make sure that both of these are running down the center. I've got that right there. I'm going to clip that one, bring this over on the opposite side. That lateral scale is running down the side. I have everything sitting how I want it at this point. And then the last thing that I'm going to do on this is do our last stack. If you want, you can throw a little bit of glue on there. But like I said, this isn't really a non compressible material, it's kind of a hybrid that's going to accept those thread wraps you really don't have to worry about it slipping off or anything so we're going to go back to the yellow and i'm going to take more than what i typically take on the back two sections i want to build this up i want this nice and bulky i want extra material in there so i'm going to get that out of the way work that through the comb now that you got all that extra in there it's a little bit more difficult but this material does hold a lot of static when you run it through the comb so if you want to do like a bone comb or something like that it may be a little bit easier to work with these plastic ones do carry a lot of static so just be mindful of that it is a little bit more difficult to work with 
but so we're going to measure this out i want it going about three quarters of the way back i'm going to take and measure that out now my first wrap i'm going to make nice and loose i'm going to bring a second wrap around and then i'm going to let my thread go and i'm just going to work these fibers about halfway down maybe a little bit past the halfway point and then i'm going to come back and make a few extra secure wraps we'll go ahead and clip that there's one or oh, there's a little clump right there i need to get rid of so now we have this sitting get out of there there we go now we have that sitting almost fully around the front or on the bottom half I should say I just want to make one or two wraps get as close to the eye as possible and then I'm going to take the same amount of olive maybe a little bit more because I want this olive going down into the yellow so I'm probably going to take a little bit more than what I typically or than what I did take for the yellow yeah it looks about right there's what we've got for the material that we're starting with. Just pull that through, get everything nice and even, and then double it over, same as before. See what we're working with there, that looks pretty good. Now I just want to measure this out. I'm going to pull that back slightly. The olive's going to be a little bit longer. It doesn't really have to be because it's going to bleed back into the previous stacks. But I'm going to have it a little bit longer. Pulling those fibers down into the yellow like we used before. And then before I reverse tie this, I just want to make sure that I'm even right here on the eye. I don't want my yellow further forward than my olive or anything like that. So I'm going to pull this stuff back. I'm going to work my thread through here to where there's not a ton captured. And then I'm going to whip finish and get rid of my thread. So there we got that out of the way. Everything's looking pretty clean. The last thing that we're going to do on this is form our head. So I'm going to grab some UV and a torch. Before I do that, you can see how these materials kind of mat together. Um, it, they, they have a tendency to all want to stick together. So I just want to kind of break these up a little bit to where I'm going to be able to manipulate some of those fibers and I'm not going to have a huge gap to where I can see all my thread here on the sides. Same thing on this side, I'm going to work them together, just kind of blur that olive and yellow. And then the only thing that I want to do to start the formation of this head is I have all of this stuff peeled back. Let me get that light out of the way there. I have all that stuff peeled back and everything's even. All I want to do is just push my fingers forward to where it starts to flare that head. You can see it start to take that shape on that you want. If you want it a little bit more aggressive, push forward like that. But I want this thing sitting right about like that there. I'm still having a nice clean section right there and a nice clean section on this side. I don't have any gaps or anything. So I'm going to take this back, push that slightly forward. And if you have to, if you find that you're having gaps between your two colors, just grab a little bit extra material and it'll help ease that transition. So we're going to, this is just some thin UV. I just want to work this right around the front, not getting to where I'm going to put the eyes on or anything. I just want this right around the front and that's just going to allow me to form the head. So I push that forward, hit that with the torch real quick, 
and it's already going to start forming that head for me. I get the overall shape that I want. It's in place. Everything looks pretty clean right there so far. I have a little bit of a gap here in the back that we're going to cover up after we put our eyes on. But there it is. There's the overall shape that we're after on this. Pretty simple, pretty easy pattern. Could extend that back section out even a little bit more if you want to. But like I was saying, if you go, you look at this right now and it just looks like this is just one really thick piece of material all the way back. As this gets wet more so than the craft fur, as it gets wet, this back section is gonna slick down so much and it's gonna carry that profile that you have from the front. So if you want to, you can lengthen this back section out even back to here, but it's, it really doesn't carry the profile throughout um, that you get with this. The craft fur, if you're doing it with craft fur, it'll take it, you can go ahead and extend that because it holds the profile longer than this will right here. I like keeping these a little bit shorter because once that gets wet, it's really gonna slick down. And you'll see if I can hold this, that's what you're gonna wind up looking at as opposed to that big blob that we have right there. So, I'll turn my UV off, and then I'm gonna find my eyes that I wanna use for this. These are just MFC six millimeter spotted rainbow. And I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna go with some Loctite gel. And I'm gonna find my center section. Now this is all before I, or this is all before I put the rest of my UV down. So I'm just gonna hold this in place. I'm gonna put it between my color break. If anything, I'm gonna go above on this olive just slightly. And whenever you're ready, there we go. Just a little dab of that. Grab your eye, peel all of your fiber back, and then just go ahead and set your eye in place. There we go. We'll take it to the opposite side. Don't worry about all those fibers sticking out right now. We'll, we'll get those squared away here in a minute. But we'll go to the opposite side now. And I'm just going to flip this around. Same thing. Slightly above the color break. I'm going to set that in place. Get that out of the way. We'll put that eye on there. And just go ahead and pinch those two together just slightly. Don't really, don't try and press it into the hook or anything. We're gonna, we're gonna secure this even more with a little bit of extra UV. Let's just let those sit there for a second. Now we're gonna peel all of this stuff back and work our way. We're gonna finish off working this head. So the first thing that I wanna do that one's off to the side just a little bit. I want to fix that. There we go. There we go. That one on the back side always likes to walk away from me. So I just want to throw this thin on here. Just start to build that up a little bit. And I'm going to do this in steps. So I'm going to throw that thin on and move this to where you're able to see it a little bit better without my hand in place. Like I was saying, without my hand in place. I always have to check that back monitor there. Every once in a while my hand gets a little bit in the way. Same thing, we're going to hit the bottom between the two eyes.
just get good coverage right through there. I know it's tough to see because it's it's on the yellow and it doesn't really darken up as you as you lay this stuff on there. So we've got that on the yellow. Just peel this back a little bit. Go ahead and hit it with the torch once again. Give it a couple of seconds. And then we'll let that go. So then all you need to do from here forward, now that you have the overall shape of your fly, you have the overall shape of the head on this one, all you need to do is just fine tune this with your UV. So I want to fill these gaps in a little bit more on the eye. That one didn't set quite as good as I would like it to, but we'll be able to touch that up just a little bit. I'll hit this on that side. There we go. And then I'm just going to continue that process. I'll work this back the head a little bit further. I'll come around the eyes, kind of tie everything together there. I'll look at it from the front angle, make sure that I don't have any irregularities throughout the entirety of it. And then I'm just going to work it with that UV the rest of the way through. Pretty quick process. I'm not going to bore you with doing that. And I need to get away from these fumes. So that is the HT Minnow. If you guys have questions or comments on it, or the updated HT Minnow, I should say. If you guys have questions or comments, leave it with me. I'll get back to you. But thanks as always for watching, and we'll catch you next Wednesday.